Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the internal rate of return. And this is a continuation from a previous video, video number 15, in which we calculated the net present value. So if you look at the formula for the internal rate of return, it requires the net present value, but two of them, as labelled MPV1 and MPV2. But also within the formula you need I1 and I2 and I represents the discount rate, the hurdle rate or possibly known as the cost of capital. So I'm going to show you the question that we worked on with in video 15. So this is the question we looked at. I already answered part one, which is the net present value. And the second one we're going to do now, which is to calculate the internal rate for return. We need two sets of data for this one the discount rate or the hurdle rate of 4% and the second net present value represented by this 4% which in this case is 6,848. So I'm going to put that into Excel along with the solution I got in part one because if you recall the internal rate of return formula needs two net present values and also two discount rates and we have only one of them here the 4% and the 6,848 but we get the other one from the previous part one, which is 12% and the net present value that we calculated for that. So please refer to the previous video to get your answer, but I'll, I'll, I'll get the answer. I'll show you the answer here. And I'll just break down the formula into these headings. So MPV1 we got from part one to that question, and I have it here, negative 12,490. The discount rate we used in order to get that negative net present value was 12%, again shown in this question. Okay, the second net present value is the net present value that's given to us in the question, which happens to be positive 6848, given a discount rate of 4%. So we'll just break the formula down and do the calculations. So it's your first net present value multiply by your second discount rate. The next part of the formula, top right, is your second net present value and multiply that by your first discount rate. And I'll take the bottom part then, which is your first net present value figure and our second net present value figure. And then we just subtract one from the other and then divide. So we're going to subtract one from the other. And likewise for the denominator. And finally, your answer for the IRR is in this case 6.833%. Just a quick understanding of IRR. The IRR that you receive is the percentage or the cost of capital that gives you a net present value equal to zero. Thanks very much for watching the video and be sure to check out the previous video number 15 to calculate the net present value. Thanks.